Playing podcast. My name's Rob Howard, and this week I'm joined by Ian Bruce and Marcus Hurley. So let's talk about some games then, uh, quickly. Um, this will have to be quickly. What have you been playing, Ian? I haven't spoken um, to you for a while. I'm just trying to check. I'm not entirely sure I've been playing anything. I've been a little busy. Um, Fair enough. Uh, hold on, stand by. Just check well, in. In the meantime, I've probably got two partial mentions of games. Go on, man. Um, well, I think I mentioned in the last. Gaming one that I was possibly going to get Titanfall two. Oh right, um, and I've started the campaign of it. I haven't finished it yet, but my god, it's quite fun. <laughs> I'm right there with you. I've played an hour of it. Uh, I it's got it. I picked fun. it up on PC. I'm, I'm loving BT. It's not Peter yeah. Cullen, but my god, it's pretty close. You know, it's yeah, almost yeah. as good as that woman from Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of he's kind of got that delivery, hasn't he? Yeah, it's like the real deadpan with pure logic. You know, oh, you know, oh, yeah. it's. I I I got a horrible feeling that I I might tear up at the end. Oh right, um, okay. Well, it don't seems say to be building much. that way. It seems oh. to be, you know. Oh, it's just just the way that your pilot is gelling with this machine, and you're like, it just seems quite fun. I'm there's some really cool platform elements. I mean, there's some there's been some bits with the wall running. They seem to be really using it. And there's some nice little puzzles as well. Um, right from the beginning, your 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 wall running, uh, leaping off opposite walls. Yeah. Uh, like there's there's big left, platform right areas where left, you're going yeah. all the way up to the top of this thing. Um, some of the there was a cool little moment uh, in in the game quite early on where it's almost as much about evasion as it is shooting. The yeah. weapons feel great, like they did in the original game. Um, I don't know. I mean. <sighs> The first game was just multiplayer, and that was cool. But mm. I, I, I'm, I love single player games. I like, I like going through with a story, yeah. with like a, 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 a challenge. I mean, I know like in a multiplayer scenario, the, the, the traversal is a challenge in it, in of itself all the time. But I just like that kind of coming to a new area, looking at, figuring it out, trying to like plan your, your, your strategy. Um, I like that the, the uh, I like the, the, the constant mixing it up between the titan and you as the pilot uh, yeah. i think that's refreshing you know every time you start to get a bit bored of one thing you you you're kind of given a whole new mm. move set the the <clears throat> titans have from what i gather they have loadouts that you yeah. unlock you over time so you have yeah. the initial loadout that where you can you know suck up all the all the projectiles and throw mm. them out drop smoke um and the first boss fight i i died a few times actually um, because I was using the new loadout, uh, I switched it back yeah. to the original one, and I was like, "Oh, okay, I, I've got, I've kind of got my head more around this because it's more like the original game." I remember, mm. but he's like, he's like letting off. Um, there's actually two of them at the at the start. One yes. sort of that you can get rid of quite quickly, but you know you have to like whittle down their shields, then drop you have multiple rockets drop mm. smoke to kind of evade um you, there's a couple of like little health drops there but i was i was i you know it took me a good three or four goes to kill him because you're really making use of every <clears throat> ability the titan has um I, i'm, I'm kind of loving the way that they've given the bosses almost like their characters so it's yeah, almost yeah. like a bit like metal gear you know when each of the car- each of the bosses will taunt you and stuff during battle or yeah you're fighting just... the pilot not yeah. the machine yeah it's well, at least quite the nice. first one, anyway. This is what I wanted from the game. I think this is pretty much what I wanted Titanfall to be. Yeah. Um, it's just, I just, I don't know. I, I, I still wish that there was a bit more to the world because I, I still miss all of the, the fantasticness of the first one. Like seeing those creatures flying around and there are know, creatures in it though. Yeah, there are, um, there are quite a few. But I'm just saying, when you first when I saw that concept art. I still think this is a fantastic game, and I think the, the 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 campaign I'm playing so far, I'm I'm quite gripped. I've had to stop because I've I've been you know traveling to work, getting up really early and <laughs> going to bed really early. 
so I haven't had much time to get back into it. But no, tell me I'm, about I'm it, man. Itching. Like, <laughs> I've only I've I've picked it up a couple of times. Hmm. Uh, the first time I just ran through the tutorial. The second time I got through the first mission. I think I'm on the third or fourth. There's not that many. You can see yeah. like how much progress you're making. Um, but I think that's enough for the kind of game it is. I think it could get a little one note after a while, despite all the different things it throws at you. It's a very uh, aggressive uh, action shooter, you know, like... I've, uh, I've heard there's, some, there's a fantastic level later on. I've heard this is what made me want to play it. Um, yeah. It's sort of like there are some genius gameplay elements. Well, yeah. possibly genius, but pretty damn cool. I'm, um, getting a, I'm getting a bit of a Half-Life vibe off it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jesus. Well, yeah, I, I, thing, I yeah. think I think it's definitely worth a, a purchase, um, especially since it's I think reduced at the moment. Um, yeah, it's pretty cheap it's everywhere. It's twenty two quid on CD keys at the moment. Hmm. That's what, what I got. <clears throat> I will be waiting for. Okay, you got to fit in. Uh, I I don't. Yeah. Make, I mean, we've been playing Hill Divers, uh, which is a top down <clears throat> thing, um, which is quite good fun. Uh, but yeah, I've mm-hmm. been busy with stuff, yeah. so I've I've been away from it a bit. <clears throat> yeah, I quite enjoyed Hell Divers. Um, I, I I jumped in there, played a bit with you guys. It's great to like as a four player thing. Uh, it's got some interesting things involved with like drop. It's like a lot about managing these these sort of drops you get, yeah. and just <laughs> staying the hell out of the way. Of yeah, them. that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I've been playing quite a lot of VR. Uh, I I got my touch controllers, um, <laughs> and I did I did a little thing last week on my own because I forgot to record. <laughs> oh, uh, bit, bit of scheduling folk fuck up there, so I just went through like the launch lineups. But honestly, they're so they've been really generous with um, with all the launch lineup stuff. They gave away uh, you got a couple of packing games, Unspoken and this sports compilation thing um, but they also were giving away uh, rip core rip coil which I tried last night and made me feel a bit icky to be honest because you're you basically just sort of move like this and it kind of moves you left and right and you've got mm. like a, a disc that you're throwing and bouncing off walls and you can try and catch if you're quick enough but yeah uh, the there, there have been some games that are sticking probably the best one is super hot vr which is just incredible time moves when you do so you feel like neo in the matrix like cutting bullets in half with a sword while smacking someone in the face behind you um that's really cool uh, but the, the other the other one um uh is i've been playing the climb yep. i played a demo, um, demo for that I basically got, they, there was yeah they uh they, they there was a, they put out a bundle uh of five games for 70 quid which is like i know ouch but um the climb alone was 40 so i thought it was worth doing so i got that super hot space pirate trainer uh and a couple of others um so just for those three it was worth doing um but the climb's brilliant uh it's it made me feel a bit icky as well <laughs> um but you yeah you're using the you, the touch controllers to to gr- grab the side of the mountain and make your way across and you have to conserve your energy and stuff like that um and when you get to the top of each like sort of tier i guess it's quite exhilarating the graphics are beautiful for a vr game like it looks as good as any other um mm. it's crytek crisis uh cry engine um but yeah the thing that all these touch games have been doing is making me sweat like a cunt my god <laughs> my god honestly like uh i have I, I think i might cancel my gym membership but that's because the, that, and that's a good every thing every game mate. i get play a fucking vibe for christ's sake yeah. yeah sell your rift and yeah, get a vibe well, well i mean this well look I, the only reason i have the oculus is because of the amount of space i have which will be changing hopefully next year um but i can just buy a third uh oculus sensor to get room yeah. scale a lot of the games I've played, actually, stuff like Dead and Buried, which is another game that came free, um, they are they are mostly standing experiences, but they kind of assume you have a room scale yeah. amount of room around you. So, like, you know, uh, there was times where in Dead and Buried where I would go to pick up, like, a stick of dynamite and I'd be knuckle- knuckles into my desk, you know? Um <laughs> You don't get the whole thing with Vibe where you're actually smashing the controller because your knuckles go first because they're yeah. just they're just like they're just basically la- like that. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Whoop. So yeah, um, but I'm very impressed. They feel great. Uh, they're very light. They're, the the way that your hands are 
represented in the world you know at first it feels like you're consciously p- pressing those triggers but after a while you're just you're just literally doing that or that or that yep. and it and it does it all um so that's really cool i also uh just before i left work tonight got to play some playstation vr oh, um, cool, okay for, we're winding down at work okay. so we we just st- st- the couple of the guys i work with i was like where are they and I, they were around the corner where all the games are just just stuck that on and they were like oh what should we play i was like i'll put batman on so i got to try batman vr only a little bit of it um i have to say in comparison to the touch controllers the uh the old move controllers definitely don't feel as precise yeah they're a little bit older now you know, aren't they? it's a, not yeah. quite as one to one um mm. but the still the the bit putting on the batman cow and then looking in the mirror and you know it's like yes you are batman <laughs> <laughs> so that was quite neat um but yeah that's all i tried of that um yeah so yeah i've i've been playing lots of little things i'm still playing the last guardian um which is cool but the controls are dreadful uh oh. but but a very emotive beautiful looking game um but yeah i'm, I'm i mean i've lo- i've borrowed that from work actually so mm. it's like looking after the ha- the, the pet hamster <laughs> over christmas <laughs> don't tread on it um <clears throat> The giant yeah, bird well, hamster could, thing. It'd be difficult to tread on Trico. He's massive. And quite <laughs> scary, actually. Uh, mm. And also had some surprisingly video gamey powers that I was not expecting from any of the trailers. Um, mm. He basically shoots lightning out of his tail <laughs> wherever you oh, wow. point the shield. Right. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, sorry, was that a spoiler? No, no. I've, no, I, no. PS4's mm. not going to be for a while. No, no, no. <laughs> Um, to be honest, and it's in like the first fifteen minutes. Oh, so right. yeah, I thought that was fair game. Fair but 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 the controls are dreadful. They, it is definitely from like another era of video games. Possibly when but, they thought of it in the PS2 <laughs> era after yeah, Shadow yeah. of Glasses. But there's no way this would run on a PS2. I tell you, the amount of fur on Trico, all the feathers and shit, and all the PS3, uh, sorry, all the environmental <laughs> detail around you. This game actually does slow to a bit of a crawl, even on the ps4 pro um are definitely dipping below 30 frames per second in places i would say which is a bit but well it has been in development for a long time so i guess there are some elements of it that they just thought we're not going to redo it because this game will probably never ever come out yeah i mean get to the end and then get the bloody thing out i think it's reasonable to assume that at one point they probably were close to ditching the whole concept because It's well, it was a PS3 game, wasn't it? It was originally, it was, I think. Yeah. Uh, I think they started development in the, in the PS2 era with the, you know, with it coming yeah. going to be coming out on PS3. But there are bits in it where, like, because the whole idea is you've got this colossus-sized creature in these kind of tunnels that it barely fits in. <laughs> so sometimes the camera can get real on the piss and wonky because you can barely <clears throat> keep track of where he is. And you're mm. co- and you're constantly because he's such a magical creature. You're kind of playing the game looking backwards the whole time because you're like <laughs> you're like wanting to see what he's doing all the time, and it's it's quite <laughs> odd. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely can definitely persevere with it because it looks mm. so beautiful. And within 15 minutes, I was like tearing up. It's like the music and the the whole majesty <laughs> of it all was quite incredible. Cool, but, brilliant. Yeah, but yeah, yeah so I, I'm yeah. definitely going to get. That's definitely one for my collection. I think at some point. If well, you need if you get a PS4. <laughs> yeah. Well, by the time I get a PS4, yeah. it'll be it'll, it'll be, only be on eBay yeah. for twelve quid or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another game. Another game I've just sort of started and sort of dipped into Final Fantasy Fifteen. Oh. Oh yeah. Or the yeah, driving yeah. simulator. Um. <laughs> Boy band I'm, simulator. Yeah. Boy banded driving simulator. <laughs> Well, I I wasn't sure whether I was going to get it, and then I watched the uh, Kingsglaive, the big animated oh, yeah. prequel movie. Yeah, yeah. Oh and right! By the time that was done, I was yes, click the button. Before I knew it, I'd, I'd bought the game. Apparently, you need <laughs> to watch that for the game to make any sense, or something. No, I heard. I I don't know. I think that's a very cynical thing because it's a prequel and it sets the world up. But it's a Final Fantasy game. None of them make sense when you jump into them. <laughs> And then you learn True. by the end of it. You're riding you know, on a giant chicken. You know. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it looks great, though. I've watched some Choco gameplay Boko. footage. Uh, look, watch some, will um, it? It I looks beautiful. Say, I, I loved the opening. Um, yeah. The bit where you're kind of, the car's broken down and you're pushing it. And I'm like, oh, I'm actually pushing the car. Can I, can I make it go into the other lane? Yes, I can. Whoa. Okay. 
Very, very easily entertained I was, but <laughs> oh, cool. um, the combat system seems quite cool. I've got to get my head around it. The idea is that you can warp, um, you can throw like a mystic dagger, dagger and you can warp to different areas and do a warp strike. You crouch and recover health and stuff like that. You can do team up strikes and all this sort of thing. So it's very similar to the old, because I haven't played one since 12. Um, yeah. Which what, was the start what have you got this on, Marcus? Well. So, what platform? Uh, I've got it on the oh, Xbox okay. One. Um, so it's, it's, even though I'm, I'm kind of a little bit of a Final Fantasy veteran, it feels like a new game yeah. to me. So I'm, I'm very appreciative of the tutorial element of it and stuff. And I, Does it- I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I got my ass kicked by a bunch of creatures. You can go and hunt for little creatures and stuff while I'm waiting for the car to be fixed. And I was like, okay, I've got this. I've done the tutorial. I know what I'm doing. Oh, shit. There's lots of them. Ah! <laughs> I think that the last sort of single player effort was 13, I think. And that was um, criticized for being a bit of a... 13 was terrible. Um, the yeah, storyline yeah. and all that was... I My younger brother's got it and I've seen it played and it was literally... I mean, 12 was kind of bad because you had this system, like the Gambit system, where characters would do... Oh, I like that. Do, yeah, but, but the thing is, you could set it so you didn't have to do anything. You literally yeah. just ran towards the enemy and the game auto-played. It's where you I programmed thought, up what all your characters yeah, would do, right? Yeah, they used, I they... defied the point of the game. The whole point of the game was that it was battle strategy. Mm. Um, whereas if you're running into battle and then you're just pressing one button and it's you just see numbers drop off you and the enemy and you're not quite sure what the hell's going on. That's see, I don't mind that, that, that they borrowed that in Dragon Age 2, which was mm. much maligned by many people, but I didn't mind it too much because that, that game had enough else going on that I didn't mind just charging through the combat because yeah. I knew that I'd, I'd, I'd kind of decided how my party would act. And yeah. so if, if all that it meant, at the end of the day was me running in and hacking things up with two swords then and worrying about myself <laughs> rather than mi- micromanaging everything um i didn't mind that too much but uh yeah no 13 was criticized for being like a 20 hour tutorial does this game feel like a bit more involved from from the start um, you have a tutorial at the start but then that's it um and you, you it teaches you all your basic elements how to use magic which then when you start the game you don't have um, yeah, but then you kind of could look into it, and I'm sure they'll probably tell you more. But no, it seems to kind of get on with a bit of it, and it's just like, you know, they're all mates, and they're all they kind of piss each other off a little bit, kind of thing. And you know, it seems like a road trip. It seems like the start of a film. <laughs> yeah, they all look um, like little and I'm I'm, I'm looking I'm looking brats. forward to it. I don't know where the story's going. Um, yeah, but I'm quite looking forward to it. No, I'm quite, quite looking like... forward to fighting these big oversized mental things or what Yeah, I've they look mad. Like yeah, yeah. Demos and stuff. Oh, yeah. Christ. I'm going to be crying like a girl whilst fighting some of these things. I can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, the <laughs> thing about Final Fantasy, I've only got like a very casual thing with Final Fantasy. I, I think eight's the only yeah. one I really played at any length. Not yeah. probably a good one to pick, but just they, they kind of come along at different times in your life. Mm. And it's like whether or not you can be asked because they're not really connected to one another or anything. No, 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 so no, no, no. unless they make two more sequels to whatever one it is. Um, I don't um, know. Well, well considering this was meant to have come out, oh god, before Final Fantasy Thirteen, I think it was it was supposed to be an, an alternative version because you had Final Fantasy Thirteen and this was meant to be Thirteen Versus. Uh, yeah, um, that's right. Yeah, yeah, and then it it's been in development hell for god knows how long, and then they yeah the yeah trailer. And it was renamed. But yeah, it looks cool. Um, doesn't seem to really slow down so far. But like I said, I haven't fought things the size of a small size skyscraper. So no. I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, literally, it might bring me back. I miss the Squaresoft days, but they're gone. Yeah. You know, I've still got them. Yeah. I can see my <laughs> pile of games at the moment. <laughs> but, I'm starting you know, I can to. always go back. I'm starting to slowly get back into the uh, console console mentality a bit. Uh, so, yeah, I might be up for that. Uh, it's, it's not, not on PC simplest. yet, I don't think. Um, uh, I don't know. I, think I it... don't think it is. I think it's just Xbox One and PS4 for now. Mm-hmm. I think it'll be out eventually, but if they want to make... If they know what's good for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. 
Right. Well, um, yeah, I think that's all the games I've got for now. I'm look. I'm very much looking forward to the Christmas break to try and finish up some of the fucking things I've started. I've got so much on the go right now, and this endless. I can't even fit all the amount of VR games I've got on my hard drive at the moment. So, it's kind of been like a revolving door of, is this? Am I going to play this again? No. Okay. Move along. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's kind of all I've got, really. Um, Merry Christmas. And to you. <laughs> And to you. Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. This has been the Not Playing Podcast in partnership with notlistening.co.uk, where you can also hear myself, Marcus, and Ian talk about movies and TV on the Not Watching Podcast, and Adam Ash and Will talk about all manner of funny things on the Not Listening Podcast. You can email us at notplayingpodcast at gmail.com, or you can tweet out or follow us on Twitter at notplayingpod. You can find the show notes for this show at notlistening.co.uk, and if you're listening to us on iTunes, then please do give us a review. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for listening. See ya. With no booty. My friend, I'm in, but you agree, cause I suck. You suck. I suck at